In this video, I'm going to show uh, the current water level sensor that I'm using. And um, here's a, the, the model that I made for this. And um, it's centered around um, a liquid level sensor that you typically find in, in uh, cars or, or uh, boat tanks uh, for the fuel level. And this is a Q's level sensor that I'm using. And um, it's pretty much works like a, it's like a variable resistor. Um, you see the two wires there, so you get different resistance here. Uh, depending on the, the the level that you are at with this this floating switch and it's a magnet in there and then you have reed switches in there uh, in the in the tube here um, so that will give you different uh, readings then on uh, on the resistance uh, as i've shown in a in a previous video i, I have also been using this milon technology e-tape and uh, it it works similarly even if this is much more accurate uh, but it's also a bit more prone to. I mean, it has some some. It's a bit more sensitive than uh, compared to the to the floating switches. Uh, but the operation is is basically the same. So the way that you uh, connect the 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 switches is uh, by using a, a simple voltage divider here. So you apply a, a voltage like five or three point three volt, and then you you uh, read the, the um, voltage that you get out here from this voltage divider. So you have a known resistance and you can decide whatever if you want to have 100 ohm or, or whatever. And then you just apply some mathematics here to see what the variable part is. And that will then be either the, the ruler here for the E-tape or for the, um, uh, the, the resistance for the, for the Aqus liquid level sensor, for example. And the way that uh, I've been I'm using the, the as a measurement is in percentage here and uh, of, of the full uh, width of the fill level and the reason for that is because there are many different as you can see many different uh, uh, levels or sizes here of the of the level sensor so um, all will show between 100% full or at the bottom here it will show 0% uh, fill rate so it doesn't really make sense to add something in inches or, or millimeters because that will depend heavily on what kind of, of switch that you that you select but they are all, are all um, compatible from a, from a device point of view um, and so here you see this um, the, the Q's level sensor and if we turn that one off you see that there, there's some thread here in the in the model so you just screw down this uh, as you would have done in, in a tank and uh, if we remove the the lid here it's quite simple that uh, there's just a, a screw connectors here and um, so this is going out and towards your your controller or your arduino most likely uh, so it's four wires that are coming in um, and then you have from this particular uh, I mean if you use the e-tape there would be four pins that you just uh, attach that to but here you have two pins for the variable part and then you just apply a resistance here between the two outer uh, pins so in this way they are compatible from a device point of view both the e-tape and this uh, this Q's level sensor so that's why I've done it in, in that way. Um, and then it's just a screw lid um, that you, um, yep. So it's water seal here and these cable screws here are, are making sure that you don't get any, any moisture in, 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 the, in the box here. Um, and as you can see, it, you have easy access to screws to uh, attach it to the, to the wall of your, uh, of your pond. So this part will be um, at the wall of your of your pond and then uh, this part will out be outside of the water and um, as yeah as long as the floating here a switch here will be uh, go uh, be free and then to be floating up and down that will be enough um, these uh, these level switches uh, have a pretty bad accuracy from a data sheet point of view so it says an uh, accuracy of of 21 millimeters but in the way that these work with the read switches um, that you have um, in the in the tube here, um, they have sort of a built-in hysteresis. So 
uh, once it has been activated and going down, it will have some. I mean, it's it's not as slow or trigger happy, so uh, so it will be actually if you select a level that is just between two of these uh, levels here, it will be able to keep a level that is basically within yeah plus minus five millimeters, which is I think a very good value to have uh, when when controlling the levels of of your pond. Of course, if you would use the, the Milone E-Tape, you can more or less see it as a rain gorge. You can see if it rains 4 mm, uh, you will see that um, on, your, on, your, on your level. And you can, so you can't monitor things on that kind of uh, detail accurate uh, level. But on the other hand, I think this is more than, uh, more than enough what you, what you need. So yeah, I think this uh, with this uh, model is quite easy to uh, to uh, mount this, and uh, it has been working really well uh, since I uh, since I added this. And uh, yeah, it's a very solid construction, I think. Here you have the final product, and it's uh, printed in PETG with some black spray paint on. And uh, either you can. Uh, Disconnect the cable here and leave it out through the winter or you can bring in the whole unit and uh, either so it's easy to just uh, access the, the cable in here with the cable connector and if you look carefully you can actually see the, the resistor in there to make it uh, compatible with uh, the E-tape. Um, yeah, so it's a waterproof uh, box and uh, the, I think the floating switch seems to be doing a, a very good job and there's no algae or anything sticking to it yet. Uh, but yeah, it's working really well I think. In the coming video I will show you how you can connect your uh, level sensor to uh, something like this uh, micro system where you can uh, then control the the tap water so you fill your your pond and adjust uh, the water level with it uh, where i was also gonna show a bit about uh, the programming that you need to do this it's very simple and you just need to change some parameters to match your your needs um, so yeah this is the whole software for just controlling the the level and also measuring the the amount of water that you have filled your your pond with